Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new free vehicle that Rockstar is giving away for all players. That's right, so today on Tuesday, December 22nd, Rockstar activated the Festive Surprise 2020 content. And in videos later today, we'll be going over more of the specifics of what Rockstar has done and some of the changes that you'll notice around the world. But in today's video, I wanted to focus on the brand new free vehicle that Rockstar actually gave away. And that is the Grati Brioso 300. So if you go on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site today, you'll actually find that this vehicle, along with the Dinka Veto Modern, has been released. But this vehicle in particular is special because it's free. So you can see there, it's obviously a part of the Cayo Perico heist, a two-seater car that is traditionally more expensive than obviously being free. It's usually $610,000. But you can get it today for free. And this is the in-game vehicle description. It says this, Grotti's designers always knew there was something missing, vital. Sure, their compacts ticked all the boxes, knees by your chin, elbows out the window. But day after day, they would return to the drawing board, certain there was one trick they'd yet to try. And then one beautiful genius whispered smaller. That's how the 300 was born. And you can see the vehicle stats there. Top speed, just a hair over three bars. Acceleration is about like two and a fifth of a bar. Braking, pretty terrible, barely half a bar. And traction, just under three full bars. So that is the Grati Brioso 300 on the in-game website. Again, if you get it today, it's going to end up saving you $610,000 off of the buy it now price. Pretty convenient stuff right there. Now, there is also a trade price for the Grati Brioso 300. Its price, if you actually complete the Cayo Perico heist, is only $457,500. But I'm assuming some of you guys have not gotten around to completing the heist. Or maybe you're just starting to play right now for the first time. So either way, if you grab it today, your price is going to be Zipola free. Absolutely nothing. So definitely take advantage of that while you get the chance. So now let's, of course, bring this vehicle into the Los Santos Custom Shop. I mean, you've got a free car. We definitely want to customize the thing. And right off the bat, the Brioso 300 is just a really fun car to drive. I mean, it's, it's in the compact class. And obviously with the snow right now, it's kind of going to be tricky to even get it to a Los Santos Custom Shop. But this is so much fun that Rockstar have given away a handful of free vehicles so far. A go-kart and now the Brioso 300. So bravo Rockstar. This is really a fun way to celebrate the holidays by having these free vehicles that you can get. And saving yourself like, a, like millions of dollars if you're cashing in on these free vehicle opportunities. But anyways, getting this to the Los Santos Custom Shop, this is the thing I was the most impressed with. How much customization it has. I mean, look at this. 24 categories. That's awesome. That's what you want to see uh, in a vehicle like this. Now, the first category you can change is body work. And under body work, you're going to be able to remove basically the trim and the reflectors on the vehicle if you want. Now, after that, it is bumper options. And there's a lot of fun ones here, including some fun license plate options. Like, look at retro bumper. You can see the license plate is very different than the standard Los Santos one. And I was so intrigued by this license plate that I actually went to the plate category to change it to my custom plate just to see if it would change over. And sure enough, it would. So now you have this fun license plate on the front that can also be customized. Now it says Boss FTW. So that's pretty cool, and you can do that with a couple of options on the rear bumper as well. Now, after that, it is exhaust options. There's a couple that you can choose from, some simple, some a little bit more extravagant, especially the blast pipes down at the bottom, which definitely gives you the most unique look, I would say. Now, after exhaust, it's fender options where you can simply choose plastic or carbon arches. Nothing all that fancy going on there. Now, your hood option, this is important. So your hood option is going to function as your spoiler in this case, which is going to give you a traction bonus. So that's something you need to keep in mind there, that if you do want more traction, you're going to have to add either a hood rack, hood luggage, popped hood, or racing hood. Uh, so pick and choose wisely here because that is how you get 
a traction bonus. Now, after hood options, it is time for the liveries. And the liveries on this vehicle are awesome. Like, I'm a big fan of them. Spoiler alert here. So the first two are pretty simple. It's black and white stripes, which, again, very simple. You've got two stripes that go from the front of the car to all the way to the back of the car and on the roof. It might depend on what customization options you have on the roof, whether or not you see it up there or not. But regardless, those are like the two probably most simple ones. But they still give a really clean look to the car. So if that's what you're going for, uh, you could just apply those. Now, Grotti Stripes is also a really clean one. At the bottom of the door sill, it's just going to put this black line with Grotti on there. Really clean. I like this one a lot. So you do have like three pretty simple livery options if that's ultimately what you're going for here. A cleaner, more, I guess, simplified look to the car. Now, the rest of the ones are so much fun. This next one, Aero Gasoline, uh, it puts the Aero logo on the front of the door and on the hood, as well as some fun other sponsorships and designs. You've got that checkerboard taxi pattern, Sumo, Wiz, Drone, uh, even the number 12 written on there as well. So that is Aero Gasoline. After that, it is Grotti Racing, which this one is super fun too. It puts that checkerboard pattern on the roof. You've got the big 22 on the side of the door, the Grotti logo, and Grotti Red uh, on the back and on the bottom. This is a really good one. I like this one too. After that, it is Fukuru Tires, which sort of adds this like white and fuchsia gradient to a little bit of the hood and the side and then wrapping all the way around the back of the car with more sponsorships on there like Fukuru and Amigas Gas and then Drone and Blick. A couple other ones as well. My next one might be my favorite, really just because it's a huge Vice City Easter egg, Pole Position. So the Pole Position was a gentleman's lounge in Vice City, and it also provides this red and white checkerboard pattern with the Pole Position girl on there. And of course, the number that Rockstar chose is 69, because why not when you're referring to a gentleman's club? So that one's pretty clean and simple. I'm a big fan of that one as well. Uh, after that, it is Ragarum. Ragarum is always really cool. It sort of makes the top half of the car the Ragarum green color with your primary, whatever you choose on the bottom. You've got 27, the Ragarum logo. That's a really fun livery as well. I, I didn't know what color to choose, so I had a tough time you know, thinking I would have a good design for that one. After that, it is Atomic Tires. I always like the Atomic Tire colors. You have the blue checkerboard pattern on the roof. The Atomic Tire logo on the hood, 44. A couple of other sponsorships on the door sill and back as well. It's a little bit less clean than I would like, but still a good one. And the final one is Total Ride Motors, which again puts that checkerboard pattern on the roof and also gives you this like red gradient on the back. So it's a really fun red. Again, if you had a nice primary color, I'm sure this would look really good. And then, of course, the Total Ride Motors on the front of the car and on the front of the hood as well. So those are your liveries right there. A lot of fun ones. Um, I think at the end of the day, I ended up going with Grotti Stripes, keeping it a bit more simple. Now, after that, you've got our respray options. Now, the respray options are a little bit interesting. So your primary color is going to have an impact on the bottom half of the car. It's also going to change sort of the outside of the seats as well as the entire interior. So as you guys can see here, as I'm changing the bottom half of the car, also pay attention to what's going on on the inside. So there is actually no trim color option. What your primary color does affects parts of the interior. And just like the secondary color, that's also going to affect the roof of the car for the most part. And it's also going to change like the inside of the seats, as you guys can see there. So there's a lot going on. So you have to pick and choose carefully here because not only will your primary color and your secondary color have an impact on the outside of the car. It'll also have a huge impact on the inside of the car. So you got to pick and choose wisely which colors you ultimately want. So it can make it a little bit tricky when you are customizing it. That's for sure. Now, after our colors, we need to move on to roof options, which there are actually a lot, including some unique roof options. Like I don't think we've seen a car that has like a top down variant where you've literally got the top rolled back. That's actually pretty cool. So there's a handful of designs like that. There's also some designs with some stuff on the top, as well as the full top just being completely removed, as you guys can see there. So a lot of fun options in the Los Santos Custom Shop. There's some sunstrip options that you can apply if you want. 
And other than that, that is the only other unique customization that Rockstar has got going on. So that right there is the Grotti Brioso 300, which Rockstar added today for free in Grand Theft Auto Online. And overall, I think it's just really fun that we're getting another new vehicle for absolutely nothing. And so far, Rockstar has really been cranking out the drip feed cars. I mean, not only have we been getting free vehicles, we've also been getting other cars added to the game. It's like Rockstar is really flying through it and releasing all these vehicles at once, which is really fun especially during the holiday time with many of us being off from work and school and just having a bit more free time, it gives us a chance to enjoy these vehicles like the Grotti Brioso 300, which again has been added into the game today for free. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think of this brand new free car that Rockstar has just introduced into Grand Theft Auto Online? Are you a fan? Are you not a fan? Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Cayo Perico Heist videos that I'll be doing here on my channel over the next couple of days and weeks. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But, of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.